When we started Castle Bay in India in 2019, we envisioned building an organization with talented and professional individuals. Year one ended with a glimmer of that vision. When we met in 2021 for the first offsite, I witnessed a group of independent, confident individuals who had never met, who shared a bond of trust and mutual respect, and hit it off immediately. At the second offsite for 2022, the team had almost doubled. Bonds were strengthening, relationships were maturing. As an organization, I like to believe that we have become a safe space where everyone felt comfortable to express their views and opinions. Every voice was encouraged, and no one felt judged. Colleagues had truly become friends. When planning for our coming together in 2023, I did not know what more could be expected. After all, we had grown, continued to work remotely. Would the energy be the same? There was an additional angle. The US was visiting. Would there be formalities? Awkward silences, maybe. as we try and navigate the differences and distances between nations it was like magic the leaders were great sports they came with an open mind and an open heart to lap up everything that came their way the food the people and the experiences they did not shy away from making themselves vulnerable and in doing so set the tone for the rest of the team no topic no conversation no question was off the table conversations flowed organically people were celebrated we got to know each other as poets dancers magicians martial artists skiers bikers and beyond in doing so We found our homogeneous values in our heterogeneous traits. When returning, goodbye hugs extended to the virtual world in the form of messages filled with love, emoticons of hearts, hugs and flying kisses. This got me wondering about the culture that we'd built. Our value system as an organization has always prioritized trust, integrity and mutual respect. The week that was left me in awe when I realized that while we have always strived to provide a good work-life balance, we have organically promoted the importance of a happy human experience. Which is so important. because when one is happy with oneself it reflects in their interactions with those around them be it family friends colleagues and even clients as we push the boundaries of the professional realm to foster a culture of love we hope to continue to create bonds stronger than any other If you've stayed with me this far, thank you. And while you move on to the next article, I will allow myself the liberty to get a little ahead of myself and wonder what next. Until the next time, cheers.